All right, I'm back. I was having other customers come. So anyways, hopefully I didn't power it on. Let's go ahead now and start replacing these keys. So this shift key has a crack in it. So they wanted to replace that. So we're going to replace it. All right, let's go ahead and I probably should have done these off camera, but let's go ahead and pop these things out of the bags. All right, uh, we likely only need the key, but I'll check maybe we'll replace the hinge as well. Okay, man, they're kind of stuck in the baggies. Let's get out. Okay, there we go. All right, we'll save the rubber caps in case we need them, but we probably won't. All right, let's go ahead and get these letters out as well. These should come out easier. And then we also have the hinges that they got. All right, so we'll get those out. And then we'll get the hinges as well. Again, we don't need the rubber feet, we just need the hinges. So let's try and push these out of the baggie. Um, so if you're wondering where I got these, I ordered them from a website. I think it was called like lap replacement laptop keys.com or something. But anyways, <clears throat> let's go ahead now and push these all out. Okay. All right. So we got all the hinges and all the keys. <clears throat> the one thing you want to check is how the keys are designed. So if you look at the back of this. Um, let me actually zoom in to show this a bit better. So we're going to do the ASDF keys first. Okay, so this will probably make it easier. Okay, so if you look at the back of the keys, there's these um, little claws or teeth or whatever you want to call them. All right, let me zoom in all the way. All right, so you have these little claws. I don't know if you can tell. So usually that's the part that you'll pry off first. It's the easiest and less likely that you'll damage anything. As you can see, this one's already broken off. I'm going to use a needle um, to kind of get these out. I have this needle that's bent. All right. So let's see here. Is this one broken? Actually, this doesn't look broken. I'm confused. All right. Well, let's pop this out anyways. So I don't know where the A key from here went because I remember it was in the computer so oh okay so this one is broken so here you can see this hinge it's cracked like this and it's separating it shouldn't be like that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace it you can see which way the hinge goes like that so we want this to go the same way okay and that means it goes I think that's upside down right okay so believe it goes that way yeah okay so you'll have these little open pieces face up there we're gonna get that in all right you have these little latches here at the bottom that those hook onto the metal piece and then we're gonna push these to get these to lock into the metal piece as well so there you go all right so first key in the letter a I'm going to get that on. Usually you'll line up the bottom and then you'll click the top into place. And there we go. Nice. All right. So we're going to now get the next key off. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this on camera. Let me see what I can do. All right. So we're going to let me try and show you this the best I can. It's going to be awkward holding the keyboard up like this. All right. So what I do is I take the needle in here. Let me unplug their little USB device. Okay, let's see if I can, how am I gonna show this? Maybe like that, okay. So what you do, okay, looks like this will kind of work. So you get the side of the key open like up like that. Then what you do is you get the needle in there, okay, between the hinges in the center. Okay, it's really hard to see that. Once you get that in there, you're gonna slide the needle up towards the top and that will actually pop out the clips. So just like that, I don't know if you saw or heard that, you can actually see where the clip is. And then we're gonna slide the needle around over that and we're gonna work our way down to unclip the other side and there we go. Okay, so we're gonna take that out. Again, I'm gonna do that with the next key as well with the letter D. The D key is also like they had it all um, rubbed out from from playing too many games. So anyways, we're going to pull that up. Here you can see, you can actually see the cross section better now. So what you're doing is you're getting the needle in the middle between the cross. 
okay just like that and then once you get it in the middle there you're gonna again work your the needle over to the side to pop the clips out so it's hard to show this on camera because my hand gets in the way but we're gonna work our way over there there you go it unclipped as you can see then we're gonna move the needle over to the other side and then we're gonna pop the clip out from that side as well okay oops sorry the thing's moving so there we go we're gonna unclip that side as well and there we go all right so we got the AS and D keys out so now let's go ahead and snap them in these hinges should be okay the customer didn't mess with these so I think they're okay let me clean up underneath here because it's kind of dirty all right all right so um, okay, good. They gave me the right keys. So we have the S key. This one, it's a little bit confusing because the S is the same no matter which way you flip it upside down. So make sure that these claws are facing at the top. Get the bottom in first again like that and then push it in. There you go. Then you got the D key. Same thing. Bottom in first. Clip the top. There you go. All right. The I key. Um, let me actually show you here. Okay, let me set aside the broken stuff so I can give that back to the customer. Get this out. Okay, I'm going to give the broken ones back to the customer. I don't know where the A key went again, uh, but anyways, or maybe that one was already missing. Oh, I probably should have ordered this one too. It's a little white there. Um, so they scraped that and then there's a little white um, dot there. Let me see if I can just sharpie in the white, the black color. So that way it's kind of at least blended. A little bit. All right. It kind of helps. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better. Okay. Um, Sharpie is not um, too good because the oils from your fingers will eventually wipe it off, but at least temporarily it's okay. All right. And that one, the key is not too bad, so... Probably not worth replacing because the keys, I think they're about ten to fifteen dollars a piece. So, all right. So next thing we're gonna do, okay, that one looks those look okay. So next thing we're gonna remove is the I key. I'm gonna rotate the laptop this way this time, and I'm gonna show you guys that one as well. Okay. So same thing. Where did I put the needle? Huh. My little needle disappeared. Um, what happened? All right, well, anyways, let's see here. I'll try and show you guys from this side. Okay, this time we're going the opposite way. I know it's not focusing right. Bear with me. Okay, so, because I don't have, I don't know what happened to the needle, let's go ahead and try with this. If it doesn't work with this, then I will go ahead and try and find the needle or get another needle. I don't know where it went. Oh, I knocked it off my desk. Okay, never mind. I got the needle. All right, so same thing. We're going to go in the I key, pull that forward. Again, you want to see, you can't really see it in the video, I guess. Um, there you go. You can see the cross. Same thing. We're going to get in between the middle if we can. Once we get the needle in there, we're going to work our way to the top to pop that out. And then, oops, sorry, this thing slides around too easily. Then work our way down and pop that out as well. And there we go. We got the I key out. Okay, so let's go ahead and look in here. I'm going to now do it from the top down view just because it's easier. As you can see, this one, they actually broke this piece of that hinge. So we need to replace that as well. Okay. That one was kind of holding itself in, so originally I wasn't even going to get the hinges, but it comes with the keys, so. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this one in the right way. Again, same thing, you want these middle pieces with the cuts in it facing up. I'm going to slide the bottom metal hooks over these little white feet first. Okay, then after you get that in place, you're going to push the top ends in to slide over those feet. And there we go. Same thing with the eye. It looks the same upside down, so make sure that's at the top. Start with the bottom now, and then click the top into place, and there we go. All right, again, we had this other key was also damaged. This time I'm actually going to just remove it from the top, because normally I don't work on the laptop sideways like that. 
you can see the giant dent there. So what I do is I lift it up. I know where it is in the middle. I slide the needle up towards the top, work my way over, pop both out, and there we go. All right, just like that, nice and simple. We're gonna do the same idea with the shift key. We have to replace the right shift key. All right, I think this hinge was okay if I remember correctly. Yep, it looks fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and clean this out a little bit just since we have it open. All right, same thing with this one. Start with the bottom, work your way up, click that into place. All right, I've got all those keys in. There's some dirty stuff here, so I'm gonna have to try and clean it a little bit. All right, just, oops, you can't even see that, but there's some like dirt on the keyboard over here, and I'm basically just scraping that stuff off. Okay. Uh, okay, I don't know if you can even see, so I'm trying to clean some of this gunk off the keyboard, but. All right. The customer before, I think, was trying to scrape off the gunk and damage the keyboard. All right, anyways, now we're gonna do the right shift key. So you wanna check for the clips again. There is this little metal latch here. So the clips are at the top as well, but there is this metal latch, so we are gonna have to pop that out as well. All right, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna lift that up. I don't know if I can show this one. Let's see if I can show this one sideways on camera so you can see it better as well. Okay, we got the shift key here. So this one, they actually chipped an edge of it, so they wanted to replace it to make it perfect. So we're gonna pull this out. Here you can see the metal bar there. We're gonna get, get the needle in, and then we're gonna pop that out. All right, so there you go. And then we're gonna, again, work our way down with the needle, just popping that out. Once you get the metal thing out, we're gonna go to the center, and we're gonna pop out the plastic clips as well. I like the bend in this needle because I actually face it towards the top of the keyboard or the key so that it goes up and then once I get it in place work our way over pop the clip out this one's a little bit tough come on it's hard to see here okay get that in then work your way over and we're gonna pop that out there we go okay there we got the key out I'm gonna lay this back down Okay, here you can see it. We're gonna take this metal bar out because the replacement has one already, a nice one. All right. These clips all look good. Excuse me. So we're gonna rotate this on the shift key. If you don't have this attached to the shift key, you can just put it into this little hook area here first. Um, oh shoot, they bent this. Okay, so they bent that a little bit. I'm gonna bend it back. I wonder why it was cracked on that piece. All right, so I'm just gonna straighten this metal piece out to make sure it's not doing anything weird. Okay, so I just straightened out that metal piece. We're gonna get these hooks back on. So you start with one hook first, then you get the other hook over into place, just like that, center it. All right, and then just like before, we're gonna get the bottom in first, just like that, and then click the middle into place. And there we go. We got the shift key in as well. All right, this I'm gonna put back together just in case the customer ends up breaking their keys again, then they'll at least have some spares, even though they're not perfect spares, but in a pinch, they'll have some keys. Um, you could always put these keycaps on any of the other letter keys, so they're kind of nice to have just in case. All right, and there we go. All right, so we got all the keys, I think, that they ordered in place. Um, we had a few, of, we only used um, two of the little hinges. So we have, they have backups. They have three of the letter hinges and the shift key hinge. All right, so those ones were all fine. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, oh, I need to put the I key back in the bag. But uh, yep, their keyboard is all good now. So these keycaps are only for the physical external uh, uh, appearance, okay? So if your key, um, the rubber piece, if you press on that and it doesn't actually register a key press, replacing the key cover on top isn't gonna do anything except for make your keyboard look, look newer. 
right? So keep that in mind. Um, again, replacing the keycaps only does anything if your keys still work. Okay, so I'm gonna put the USB over here because there's a USB 2 thing. All right, okay. And yeah, so the customer wanted it just more for cosmetic reasons. Uh, most of their keys work. There was only like one hinge that was actually bad enough that it kept popping out, which was the A key, and that's why it was like popped out like that. But um, yep, that's pretty much it. Anyways, uh, because I installed an SSD on here, I am going to have to do a clean install of Windows. Um, you could also clone your hard drive to the SSD, but the customer's hard drive, if I remember correctly, was bad. So we're just doing a complete clean install. Anyways, if you want to see how to do that, I have other videos for that. Um, feel free to ask me, and I'll send you that a link to that. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this spike.